Tesla 4680 shows off dry cathode Cybertruck. A Tesla senior manufacturing engineer for 4680 cell development has shared a photo of the first ever dry cathode Cybertruck. The vehicle is equipped with Tesla's in-house dry cathode 4680 cells, which have long been highly anticipated by the electric vehicle community. The update was posted by Tesla senior manufacturing engineer Cole Otto, who noted in a post on LinkedIn that the company has kicked off its vehicle testing for the dry cathode Cybertruck. Otto's post featured a photo of the Tesla's 4680 team posing with the dry cathode Cybertruck, which was wrapped in matte black, introducing the first ever dry cathode Cybertruck. In July, we kicked off vehicle testing with our groundbreaking in-house dry cathode 4680 cells. This is a significant milestone in advancing both technology and cost efficiency. I'm proud to be part of the brilliant team that made this historic achievement possible. Otto wrote in his LinkedIn post. Interestingly enough, this was not the first time that a photo of Tesla's first dry cathode Cybertruck was posted online. A few days ago, longtime Giga Texas watcher Joe Tetmeyer shared a number of images from a recent flyover of the facility, one of which featured the mysterious matte black all-electric pickup truck. Tesla Senior Director of 4680 Program, Bon Eggleston confirmed on social media platform X that the vehicle was indeed the dry cathode Cybertruck. While Tesla Cybertrucks that are being delivered to customers today are equipped with 4,680 cells, the batteries themselves are only partially complete, as per a report from Chinese publication Late Post. The publication noted that Tesla's 4680 cells that are used in production Cybertruck units are equipped with a negative cathode that is produced using Tesla's dry electrode process and a positive cathode that is purchased from a supplier. This results in the positive cathode being produced using conventional wet electrode processes. The late post report, which cited people reportedly familiar with the matter, suggested that Tesla is looking to start mass-producing complete 4,680 cells, whose negative and positive cathodes are produced using the company's in-house dry electrode process in consumer vehicles by the end of the year. One of the publication's sources was particularly optimistic about the electric vehicle maker's complete dry electrode, 4,680 cells, stating that once dry electrodes are developed, they can change Tesla. Source, reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Teslarati.